Hello friends, this is Seishu. Welcome to another edition of Tiffin Box TV. I speak with photography industry leaders who make it a habit of inspiring others, bridging craft and commerce to help you create a sustainable and creative business. Today's guest is Pete Mosley, a writer, speaker, and coach based in the East Midlands in the UK. You can learn from him one-on-one -on -one through training sessions or seminars. His topics tend to revolve around confidence, self-promotion, and the business of creativity. Welcome to the show, Pete. Thanks. It's really good to be here. Thanks for calling me up today. Absolutely. Uh, you know, one of the things that that always surprises me. Um, well, I shouldn't. Uh, I shouldn't say surprises me because I'm. I am partly an introvert as well, and it's always surprising when an introvert gets out there and makes it happen. Um, so, for at least the introverts in my audience and the extroverts too, perhaps. What is it that you do so well, and and what is it, and what is your mission, and why? I I think the the answer is that confidence is a mercurial thing. Um, it's not true that we're generally totally lacking in confidence or totally awesomely confident, but that we jump up in certain places and we're very confident in some areas not so confident in others. And most of the people I work with are like that, and some of them are introverts. But, you know, it's perfectly possible for an introvert to be really good at public speaking, but not so good one-on-one. -on -one. We all find different places in our lives where we can perform really well. Uh, and the whole premise of the art of shouting quietly is to help people find that place where they can really shine and promote themselves with confidence. So you mentioned your book, uh, The Art of Shouting Quietly, which is, uh, which is a title I absolutely loved. From the first time I saw it, I was like, oh, this is perfect. This is exactly what I need to read. Um, tell us a little bit about the book uh, and how it came about, because that is your second book, if I'm not mistaken. Your first one is called Make Your Creativity Pay, I believe. Um, yeah, that's right. So tell us a little bit about the art of shouting quietly. Um, I work predominantly, but not exclusively, with creative people, and I've got a really broad definition of creativity. And what I've noticed is that a lot of creative people are brilliant at what they do, but just not so good at promoting themselves or, or sticking their head above the parapet and communicating with the world. And the book was really written to serve that need and it's proved very popular with creatives because it, it, it it's quite helpful for them to try and realize, to understand that, you know, you don't have to be confident everywhere. You just need to find two or three spots where you can be confident and, and, and do the work from there. If you don't mind, let's rewind it just a smidge uh, and talk about what causes people in the first place to lack that confidence. What is it that is an obstacle in their place uh, oh. that usually says, oh, I, am, I can't do this, I am not good enough, or whatever it is that comes up in their heads? Yeah, I mean, the, there's a, a zillion and one reasons for that, but sure. I can just give you a few examples. I mean, so, some people suffer terribly with imposter syndrome and the feeling that they're, you know, they're not good enough, or, or if they go out there, they'll be found out or judged, or um, that they're not qualified enough. Um, some people are shy because they were shy or withdrawn as a child, and that's continued into adulthood. And there can be loads of reasons for that, a bad teacher, or an overbearing parent, or a childhood illness, or whatever. So it's really hard to give a kind of blanket reason for quietness and introversion. It comes from all sorts of different reasons, really. So one of the things you, you, you I, I think you talk about is that it's not about overcoming your shyness or overcoming your, your introversion. It's about really using that, that's, that, that introversion in ways where you can excel and elevate your business or elevate your creativity. Talk a little bit about how that works for all creative people. Yeah, I mean, if I can just take a specific example, which sure. is public speaking. You know, yes. public speaking is number one fear in an awful lot of people's minds. And in some cultures, it's, it even ranks above fear of death. But I've not yet spoken to a public speaker who, even although they may be incredibly experienced, doesn't have some kind of anxiety before they get on stage. The difference is that they've learned to live with that fear, to make friends with those fears. Mm. Uh, and they recognize that it's part and parcel of doing what they do. 
Uh, and I think, you know, it's something, the confidence you can build in incremental stages is not something you're going to do straight away, but you can build it step by step by step by step. And that's what I emphasize in the book, that, you know, this is something that you can build. It's something you can work on. It doesn't mean you have to behave like an extrovert. It just means that you get hold of the, the place where you can work, whether that's on social media or online or on video or face to face. And we've all got places that we can work effectively. And the book's about helping you find that place that works for you. Yeah, I, I love that. I mean, the fact is you find your domain and you become the master of your domain and, and, and you just you thrive in that, in that space uh, in the way that is natural to you. And I think yeah. that is a, a great takeaway from the book. Um, talk to us a little bit about the... The, the fact that it's not limited to the book. I mean, you. Uh, I wish you lived in the U.S., honestly, because I, I know you <laughs> offer master classes uh, and workshops and things like that to help creative people. Talk to us a yeah. little bit about your, your, your opportunities to work with you one-on-one -on -one as well. Uh, well, I mean, I work with people all over the world by Skype, by email, oh, okay. um, I, you know, and, and uh, with the wonders of digital technology, that's totally possible. Sure. Um, so, you know, that's one way that I work with people. I work face to face with people, obviously, and I work in the kind of workshop and masterclass situation as well, one one to many. And there's lots of creative organizations in the UK that I work with. Um, and the audience is not specifically, it's an, not, not specifically an introvert audience. It's a very mixed audience. And what I've found actually that these principles apply to extroverts too, because of course, extroversion doesn't mean that you're supremely confident. Um, they too suffer from dips in confidence in all sorts of areas. So th this is great. Uh, y you know, the fact that you've written uh, a couple of books on uh, that, that sort of speak directly to creativity uh, tells me that that is your niche. Uh, how did you come upon finding this specific space for yourself? I know you, you mentioned uh, other introverts in your book, uh, Susan Cain being the most recent introvert that, yeah. you know, who's written a book on that very topic. Yeah. But what is it that you, uh, you found about yourselves that you felt like, okay, this is my thing, this is my domain. What is, how did you come upon uh, this particular subject? Yeah, um, I mean, I was I was a shy child, and I had a couple of childhood illnesses, and, and that kind of set me up as a shy, reticent person. Um, but I found that actually I'd got a, a, a real gift for sharing skills with people, and that became my vehicle for overcoming the quietness and the extroversion. And it still is the place where I'm in flow when I'm, you know, working with others and doing creative stuff and helping them learn about stuff. Um, there are other situations where I'm still helplessly shy, you know, I, but that doesn't matter, you know, because at least I've nailed the one or two places that it, it works for me. Fantastic. That's great. Talk to us about what's coming next. I know you and I have talked offline uh, about your next venture, if you don't mm -hmm. mind, just revealing a little bit about what we can expect. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's a natural sequel to The Art of Shouting Quietly. Um, the other area that, that uh, a lot of creative people, writers, artists and inventors and coders, you know, uh, uh, almost anybody that's working in that domain, they need to build an audience. They need to build a community of interest around their work. And the next book is very much about how you set up building a loyal community of interest. Um, it's also a little bit about finding uh, a way to communicate with others that's, that's authentic and it isn't just you blowing your own trumpet in a kind of senseless way. Um, in, in a way, it's where the stories that we tell ourselves about our competence and our, our abilities uh, meets up with the stories that we have to tell others. And the book examines both of those angles around this whole thing about how do you connect successfully with other people, but in a very genuine way. In order to create the loyalty, you need to keep them on journey with you. And again, you seem to, you seem to have great timing uh, because the the way things are moving along in terms of whether it's the photography business or any industry really, uh, you do need to find your tribe. You need to mm. find and and maintain that tribe uh, that that really will sustain you. And it yeah. it comes down to 
uh, understanding who you're serving, right? I mean, and, yeah. uh, understanding and how they are going to serve you in a way too. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, so when is what? Talk to us a little bit about this book and when we can expect uh, this book uh, to come out. I, well, I, I've I spent some time putting together the the kind of <laughs> synopsis of the book and deciding what all the various concepts are that I'm yeah. going to explore and develop in it. So over the next 12 to 18 months, I'll be developing those things, uh, but I'll be starting to share those with people before the book is finished uh, uh, online. Um, so folk can get a chance to, to just make use of the information and not have to wait for the publication itself. Um, so it's a slightly different way of approaching it. Um, the purpose of doing that is actually to help me continue to build this community of interest around the work that I do. And, um, you know, I've got followers on Twitter, on LinkedIn, um, lots of people that have been fans of the book and the various things that are produced. And it's just about keeping them on board and, and not making them wait, if you like. Sure, sure, absolutely. Uh, that's that's a, a a very interesting and almost modern way of uh, of, mm. of promoting your your book by sort of releasing parts of it or all of it yeah. Uh, yeah. to people who are able to, I guess, take it on and and use it right yeah. away, and then you can see results from it, right? I mean, that's you right. actually yeah. you can get actually some feedback about what yeah. it is that you're trying to teach them, and perhaps make some changes to the the printed version. Yeah. Um, what else should we know about uh, this upcoming book? Uh, it, it's it's absolutely for a, a wide audience. It's not just for uh, creative people. It's not just for introverts. It, it's for anyone that has a business or a venture or a, a creative output where they need to connect genuinely with people. And the only way you can do that really is by connecting at a values level. You, your followers, your tribe, they they actually mesh with your values. That's the bit of you that they connect with. And if you're not embedding your values and communicating your values in your work, there's not much chance actually of getting that empathy with your work and the loyalty that comes from it. Oh wow, I think that was the most profound thing I've heard today. So uh, that is a great takeaway from this from this little interview with you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I think this is this is it. I mean, the fact is, uh, yes, you may be shy, you may be introverted, you may be extroverted, it doesn't matter. Your values have to be communicated effectively to your audience so that they can then connect to, your, to, connect to you in a way. So then yeah. an exchange and a relationship can thrive. Yeah, beautiful, yeah. beautiful. I love it. Thank you so much for doing this, Pete. It's a pleasure. Thanks very much indeed. Take care. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye.